Well, Eminem takes a huge loss. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to advertise on the channel, it's jordantowermedia at gmail.com. Well, Eminem, back during the Marshall Mathers LP, way back in 2002, he purchased a home, which is a great accomplishment for him coming from a trailer home, okay? He purchased a home for four point. Seven five million dollars. It's really I wouldn't even call it a home. I would call it an estate. Okay, it has tennis courts. It has like three houses on the property. One for guards. It has a pool. Uh, it has it has pretty much everything. It's a small city. Um, well, recently he just took a loss on it. Now this isn't much for someone that's worth a hundred and ninety million dollars and being one of the top hip hop artists, but. It still takes a toll, you know, like it shows you that real estate isn't always a great investment. You know how people always say, oh, real estate, get real estate. They're not making any more land. No, you can take losses on real estate. Don't believe HGTV. Okay, this is a good example because the community that he was in wasn't as desirable anymore because the auto industry continually was leaving. Um, Detroit uh, was bankrupt. You know, and more and more people didn't want to live in Detroit around these times. So he lost $2.85 million. But, you know, he lived there for 14 years. It really looks dated, and it looks like he hasn't lived there in a long time. He probably just was paying. And think about it. A house with that much money, the property taxes have to be, you know, $100,000 or, you know, $80,000 a year. Plus upkeep, you still got to keep the pool right. You got to do the, you know, the roof maintenance and everything. So honestly, he would have lost more money keeping the house longer, not even going to it. So it kind of equals out, you know, housing and house investing is very weird. But uh, he is releasing his new album, Revival. Um, I'm sure he's just kind of simplifying his life at this point, you know, Uh other people that live in this community is like Michael Moore and I think he bought this from the chairman of some huge company I don't know who I, I think Kmart the guy who owned, uh, was the chairman of Kmart the CEO of Kmart or something he uh, he owned this house before him so he takes a loss on this house but it's really probably a relief because it's just you know it takes down his monthly uh, expenses getting rid of this home what do you guys think about this house? I mean, it looks old as shit because it was 14 years ago and it was never updated, but I'm sure whoever bought it uh, will flip it for a little bit of money. They'll probably update it and, uh, you know, put it back on the market. That's probably a big reason it didn't sell. If you're paying that much money, you don't want to have to do any upgrades. But anyways, guys, uh, make sure you guys hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to run ads on the channel, it's jordantellermedia at gmail.com. Appreciate you guys so much, and I'll check you guys on the next one.